and TV show recaps. We review and read them too. As long as they're Black Brian and Lamar hosting the show, remain unbiased in case you. Disclaimer, no matter if we liked your movie, liked your show, or hated the show, or hated your movie, doesn't matter. We respect you, shout outs to you, and we support you, and we try to get everybody else to support you like we support you. Black on Black Prime, we stand on what we say, though. And just like always, if you didn't ask for our opinion, we didn't ask you to listen to it. So, sorry. Click and turn it off. (laughs) But it's just a made up story. Who's just trying to scare you? You know how it is when black people scare other black people. It's like you believe this shit or something. I heard the story, and I do believe it. Yo, what up? We back with a Lifetime movie. I don't think we ever did a Lifetime movie on here. Uh, I think this is the first one. Yes, if I can. Re- yeah, I don't, I don't recall doing any Lifetime films unless it was like a Lifetime original. And it was something. It was on something else, and we ended up watching it like it was on Hulu. Or right. Something like that. No, I don't think so though. But this one is uh Miss Cleo. Um, what's the full title? It's not just called Miss Cleo. Miss Cleo, her rise and fall. Her rise and fall star in the Lady of Rage, one of the greatest female rappers in history, in my opinion. Uh, when I, uh, you're not better than a brat, but when I first no, hell no, but they heard, but it's two different it's two different rappers though. You ain't gonna just breeze okay. past that, my nigga. Uh, She's still okay. a beast. She's that's still okay. a beast. She was. She, 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 she do be spitting. The brat stopped spitting. Beast. The brat stopped spitting. She kept on spitting. So yeah, uh, yeah. It is a uh, Lady of Rage. The only the last year too is better. What'd you say? Uh, um, barbecue chicken. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> Lady of Rage. Uh, I feel like she ain't played in nothing since uh, Baby D. Or am I tripping? Or she played nah, she show. is Baby D, Steve Harvey show. What else did I see her in? I seen her in something else. I just can't remember it. I feel like Baby D was after Steve Harvey show. You think so? I feel like Steve Harvey came out. Like, uh, I, I know. Like, was that? Was that Friday after next? It was the next Friday. Next Friday came out early 2000. So, yeah, it, it might be either written around the same time or a little bit before. I don't remember, but. Right. Um, it's pretty much the same character, though, so it don't really matter. Um, um Yeah. So, Lady of Rage. I seen her or something else, man. When I first I seen her playing this, I was just like, I really feel like they just got her because she looked like Miss Cleo. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I want to say, I, oh, okay, I seen her in uh, Ride. I seen her in a bunch I of stuff. Seen her in Ride, uh, but she pretty much always played the same person. But it was one thing she was in; she was somebody different. She played Just, in Judas and the Black Messiah as a Lady Panther, which I can't recall who she was in Judas and the Black Messiah because I definitely saw that movie, but I don't remember her in it. So she probably was just like background. 
I watched the movie once because it was heartbreaking. So I I can I couldn't even recall. That was one of those movies. Oh, I, yeah, well, now we can't watch well, old now, but we could do a flashback one day. But we could. Uh, yeah, she was in the Steve Harvey show around the same time as next Friday. Hmm. And she did a ride before that. She did a ride like a '98. Yeah, but I just remember her playing. Maybe it was in Judas. She played somebody like like a different type because she always got that bully character. Uh, yeah, she played uh in this movie called A Christmas Prayer. Uh, it was probably like a you know one of them movies mm. that just kind of got anybody in it. Mm. And, yeah, uh, I don't remember that one. Right. But anyway, but anyway, this movie is about the life and times of Miss Cleo. If you are, if you grew up in the '90s like we did, you know who the hell Miss Cleo was. You remember those infomercials? They called me now. It's infamous. <laughs> Absolutely, you remember the parodies of it too. Mm-hmm. And then Living Color, Dave Chappelle, they all Matt got TV. Like, yeah, they all got on her helmet one one good time. You know, it's funny. I don't think I don't think Living Color made fun of it, Miss, because it was it was because they said it in this movie, and I looked it up. That was Matt TV. Huh? No, was it? Yeah, that was Deborah from Matt TV. Why does they in Living Color? Where? In the movie? No, I don't. I don't think it said that. Is that it? I just, nah, saw it Matt. It. Yeah, I just watched it too. It was Matt TV. You didn't watch it today. Yeah, you watched it yesterday. I watched it this morning. <laughs> <laughs> she was just like, it's, uh, what's these people on in Living Color talking about me or whatever? And it was just, she didn't even say the name of the that. show. She just walked in and said, the, why you turn it off? It's funny. It was, <laughs> it was definitely a big deal. Yeah. Uh, they showed everything you went through in the 90s. It wasn't just Miss Cleo you called where it cost money like that. It was a lot of places you call that 900 number. They going to bill your ass. Yeah, I never. I always thought that shit was a joke when I was a kid. I didn't think it was real. I thought, you know, it was just like TV. You know what I mean? You remember nineties mm-hmm. TV? It was just like all like the talk shows, like Jenny Jones and Maury mm-hmm. and Jeff uh, Jerry Springer. I thought all of that was like just entertainment TV. And mm-hmm. it, and when I seen it, like commercials like that, infomercials, like all this, it didn't even seem real. Right, because it's 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 because uh, it's how we was raised. Like we was raised, you get your ass whooped. You try to call one of them numbers. Oh man, but what? it ain't it ain't that it ain't it didn't seem real. It's like it's off limits. Yeah, because yeah. you remember a late night BET. Cause we had BET and cut, but then there goes a commercial and they had a the girls talking sexy. Like, are you lonely? Yeah. Call this number. They be laughing in the bed and shit. You like that? Hey, you would get your ass beat trying to dial one of them numbers. Absolutely. Like I I got in trouble one time, and I wasn't even like super young. But I'm thinking, you know, if I buy a little, if I get a little movie off a of pay per view, it's probably just gonna slide <laughs> under the radar. It's only three ninety nine, you know what I mean? My mom ain't gonna be looking for what's on that the phone. She was twenty dollars, nigga. And she was just like, "I saw you got your little movie." I'm like, "What the?" <laughs> <laughs> like it wasn't no porno, but it was like you know what I mean, a little pay per view film or whatever. Like probably a movie that just came out. She was like, "I saw you got your little movie." <laughs> no, we always had the black box. It was always free. Our pay per view. Uh, yeah. But it, yeah, so so I mean, they they pretty much touched on everything in the '90s, and then they showed how she came from being a scammer to basically being one of the greatest scammers in the world. Yeah, they start they start off with showing in her life. I guess she scammed like this little company, this little stage company, on a play. Right, doing the she Cleo took, character. Right, exactly. Like so, she made up the Cleo character, but mm-hmm. it was like that. Uh, I don't know what kind of company it was. I thought it was like some type of acting situation or a play that they had going on and she they said it was like a little a little theater because remember the lady was like we're a small theater you know this is how we get paid so i guess she just scammed them out of i guess they got grant money for the play yeah she scammed them out of that she did and took the money and left she said she was doing it for her kids so i guess she was just the ultimate scammer it's funny because i watched the documentary on her i want to say last year but i don't remember a lot from it yeah i I watched that as well Mm. and you know it was, it kind of, you don't know whether to look at this story and be just like, oh man, like I feel bad for this person or, mm-hmm. oh man, this lady's a scammer and she just finally got caught in her scamming. So I don't, I don't feel bad for what she did as far as when she blew up with the commercials. I feel bad for the little company she scammed for sure. Cause it was mm-hmm. like when she was rich, she could have just gave them the money that she stole. Like my bad y'all. It was kind of like they couldn't do nothing about it. But when she was scamming the world, it's like it's like they kept saying in the, in the show, like they stupid. Like y'all see that it says for entertainment for purposes entertainment only. Purposes. Yeah, absolutely. Like that's on y'all. Y'all dumb. Like if y'all calling this actress, <laughs> if y'all mm-hmm. think y'all y'all thinking the world you getting through to her only, you're, you're dumb. Like it's 
you you ain't smart. Um, and this my you know this my offend some people because of like you know the, the climate and the times we live in, but mm-hmm. um, I just don't understand the, the whole psychic thing and how it's so it's just really popular, and I'm sure there's something there. But I just like in LA, I don't know if it's like this in the Bay Area, but it is psychics uh places everywhere like you just driving up a ship just like man them niggas is they in business like, but it's, it's so it costs it, money to have real estate and so a place who's paying this rent <laughs> so there was there's but it was before the miss cleo shit there were psychic places but it was rare like because because a lot of people didn't believe in it i i yeah. think i think with uh what miss cleo did and dion work and everybody it's kind of like everybody want to answer you know what i mean instead yeah. instead of it, instead of working hard, it seems like a shortcut. You get what I'm saying? It's like it's like uh, why well, work hard? I can call her a psychic and ask her what my future is. Are you going to be rich? It's like that kind of calms your soul. So I I get why it's a booming business now, especially after the Miss Cleo things. Like you see, tapping into somebody's vulnerability or tapping into somebody's emotions by giving them false promise. It's like they're looking for something. And if if you can get that money off of them, you're gonna do it. So I can see how it could be a booming business. If I if so, say right now, if we was on the podcast and I was able to predict something that somebody thought was real, and then I was just like, yeah. So from now on, if y'all want predictions on life, you know, send me a, a DM with a with a cash app. It's going to be some people that's willing to do that because I might be right because I was right about one thing. I, I get I get people paying you for advice because that is mm-hmm. a skill. You know what I mean? If you got like you know you got therapists and counselors, all of that, those people are giving you good advice. Like they don't know the future. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? They're going off of, you know, what they read and what they know and what's possible, like what are the possibilities possibly, mm-hmm. but there's not an a hundred percent answer of anything. So it's like, you mm-hmm. can call and get advice. And if you were like a person, like an advisor that was giving advice, I was like, that's cool. It's like you making money mm-hmm. off of, that's a skill that you have. But like, I'm telling you about something that's like, Hey, your boyfriend's cheating on you. But it's all, it's all, <laughs> yeah. it's all. And I don't even know this nigga. You ain't even know information or nothing. You just gave me your birthday. The, fact, the perfect breakdown of it is what Dave Chappelle did. It's all educated guests. Like, yeah. dude, when they called in, he heard a voice like, oh, you in the hood, huh? Like, how'd you know? It's like, <laughs> nigga, I can hear it. Really easy. He's talking to dude like, oh, I see you getting out of jail. He's like, where's that? Oh, yeah. He said, oh, I see you going back for doing the right same. The fuck shit. Back. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely. educated guesses. So it's like, I'm not far off from what's right. I'm not giving you no guarantees, but I'm not far off from it. And it, and it's like the the it, it's kind of like getting your horoscope. You can relate anything to anybody. Anything. If I if I took a Scorpio horoscope and said this is the horoscope for Virgos, the Virgos are gonna be like, mm-hmm, that sound like me. That's me. That's me. Y'all, mm, they predicted my day. It's like if you can convince somebody that I know more than you think I know, then it's like a gateway because it's not. Nowhere in here is she giving a hundred percent guarantee. She right. like this is what could happen, but they take it. They they they're misconstruing what she's saying as a guarantee in life. Yeah, somebody would hang up that phone and be like, "Yeah, they said I need to break up with you because they said this shit ain't gonna work." Ain't no way she could tell you that. Mm-hmm. She she's 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 like guiding you that way, but ain't nothing a hundred percent guarantee. Right, like I'm taking the information that you give me and just giving you the you know. Mm-hmm an answer that I assume because most people that are going through this go through the same shit. Like, yeah. Like it's so, so it's funny. You brought up the old Jenny Jones and all of that. Mm-hmm. I used to like the shows when they had the people that could talk to the dead. That oh, I, I, I used to think, stuff. Man, it was, it was this one dude. He'll be like to the audience. He'd be like, he was going like, it's like, he listening. He's like, I'm getting a J a J in this area. And somebody be like, my mom's name is Jackie. Be like, yeah, I'm getting a, <laughs> I'm getting something about a ring or oh she left a ring. Yeah, yeah. She's saying take care of that. It's like it, it's yeah. like they throwing it, they're fishing for the information and people was dumb enough to bite on it. And Absolutely. it, it reeling really you in. It's it's all mind games. It's all like uh give me your money, basically. Yeah, that's true. I guess I guess the term psychic is like when I think of that, I just think of somebody that knows the future for sure, not mm-hmm. I'm just giving you what you give me. You know right. I mean? a psych- if a psychic can't give me no lotto numbers, I don't believe shit you saying. Hey, real talk. Uh, <laughs> so they'll just they'll just tell you something just like, you know, I can see a caller calling in like, you know, I really want to win this lottery. You know what I mean? Just, can you just mm-hmm. give me the numbers? Listen. 
<laughs> I'm talking to you. Like, look, there's money coming your way. The lotto might not be it, but there's money coming your way. Right after I got off the phone, I got a check for two hundred dollars. <laughs> I did a scratch. She didn't put. She didn't talk to you all out the lottery. I, I got a scratch yeah. off, and I want another scratch off, and that scratch off got me two dollars. She told me you done forgot about the million. <laughs> <laughs> you just know that you have money coming in. So that shit works. So they basically this movie basically breaks down. Cleo's just hustling for her kids. That her whole goal was to make sure my kids is comfortable. And and she's doing the, the same acting thing she's always done. It just happened to turn into millions. And of course, there's a white man behind it getting paid off of it. Big sacks. Mm-hmm. And they were choosing her as the face of it. They they somebody gotta take the downfall. You the face. This is it went from being this is our company to stapping your name on it. It's still our company, but the world thing is Miss Cleo's company. Right. Yeah. And she didn't know that she had signed off, you know, her name pretty much. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They could did whatever they wanted. And they pretty much, like they said, they owned her and the rights to the Miss Cleo name, even though she was using the name beforehand. Right. Um, you know what this movie made me think of? Just like in life, like how how it's so big right now to like to go viral, you know what I mean? It's just like mm. you put it's like if you put some whatever you put out, you gotta be careful because there's a possibility that you can go viral from that, and that's gotta be you now. You, you know stamped. What I mean? So it's just like you go in there just joking or whatever. People are like, oh my, he's funny. You know what I mean? Now you're mm. a comedian. You yeah, know what I mean, like I was like, it's just like you didn't even know it. You know, before you knew it, you was like, I didn't even know I was gonna be a comedian, but <laughs> you went viral off of being a comedian. It could it could go good for you, and it can go bad. And I think that's not what a lot of people you don't see that a lot because it's so mm-hmm. so much information coming and coming and going at you. So many people that are new, so it's like you see the people that did make it off yeah. of uh, going viral. But what about mm-hmm. those people that went viral that you never saw again? Right, it's, it's and millions it, when, of when you do see them again. They were trying to see. <laughs> it's millions of them. It's like it's like when you do see them again, they're trying to attach to that moment again. Yeah, and it's a and it, 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 that should be looking terrible. Like, uh, dude is a good dancer, but dude that blew up off the the shit with Gilly when he was doing the thing. Everybody thought it was Gilly. You know what I'm talking about? I'm about the uh, June bug joint. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. he blew up off of that. And he mm-hmm. ran with that shit for a year. He milked the shit out of it, which, as he should have. He did. And then he kind of disappeared. And then I like saw a video later where he's trying to do that dance again. I'm like, it's over. But it's like, how do you recapture that moment? That was two years ago, bro. Yeah. And how do you like... recapture that moment? Like, uh, like Shiggy. Shiggy be getting lucky as fuck. <laughs> yeah. He... <laughs> that nigga popped up out of nowhere recently again. <laughs> Yeah, because the, the Kiki shit blew him up. But then after that, it was just like, damn, he can't. It's like you see him reaching for it. It's like, how do you recreate? I, I think that's what sucks about going viral. If you, it's different going, it's different going viral with something you can repeat. Like if you go ra- right. viral as a rapper uh, or that nigga bars, you oh. could kind of almost touch that if you stay creative. Mm-hmm. But nigga, I did a dance on the side of a car doing the Kiki dance. I can't now do another dance for somebody else's song because they're gonna be like, oh, this nigga's reaching. Like right, we don't want to see this. Yeah. And it's gonna be another nigga that do a viral dance. You know what right. I mean? Just like just going... like like I said, even with Junebug, that nigga can just dance. Yeah. So I seen more videos after that where he's doing dances with other people, but it's like you're not gonna get that one again. That's yeah. that's not gonna happen again. It's not gonna blow up as big. And it's like I feel like in this, it just lets you know it's like, man, she probably didn't want to do that Miss Cleo thing. She was just trying to get some paper and it got big. And now, mm-hmm. like, you know, I feel like her story is is only sad because she had to pretty much push that character in order to make money, in order to support mm-hmm. her family. And then, you know, she ends up with pretty much nothing. Like she was rich for a little while. She had her like 15 minutes of fame kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And then she had to move far away and dip off into I, I think her when I was watching the documentary she was somewhere like she had had a whole new life you know what I yeah, mean yeah yeah it was just under a new name person, yeah because she couldn't be that person no more you know what mm-hmm. I mean I'm sure she like she probably hated when people came up to her like Miss Cleo <laughs> like can you recover from her like no it's not niggas is calling me now yeah, niggas will make a whole thing now head ass like <laughs> Niggas <laughs> is cold. You ever see that? Um, uh, you ever see the you ever see the video? Real is this one dude. Uh, he he makes this is all he makes now, and this is another 
the thing about going viral, like I don't know how far he can go with this, but like all of them are funny right right now for this moment. Yeah. So it's just like black people laugh at anything. So yeah. it's like he'll be doing something like paying his bills or something like that. And then you hear this nigga paying bills. <laughs> and then they were just like, responsible head ass nigga or whatever. And they're like, man, can't do nothing. And then the next video, they'll be talking to a girl. Like, oh man, I got a girlfriend, you know what I mean? She, this nigga faithful. Yeah. <laughs> laughing hey, you know what's funny though? They we used to do that. We used yeah. to do that way back in the day. Absolutely. We should have went viral for that shit. We used to do that for stupid reasons. He, <laughs> like this nigga all, take care of his kids. His whole page is that. Hundreds wow. of videos are doing that. It's like, where do you take that? Right. Uh, you just gotta keep doing you it. You gotta keep on doing <laughs> it until it just milk it. You know what I mean? So Probably make some t-shirts like black people laugh at anything just yeah. try, try to get that money and <laughs> hopefully you'll get a, a chance because some people take what they have and then they could break off and to do something else that's mm -hmm. something else could be fashion it could be you know doing music whatever it is it's like you right. gotta take what you did and you can't milk it to where people be like all right now like they tired of it. You got to yeah. you got to turn it into something before people get tired of it. Exactly. Like he got to then to go to somebody's funeral and be like, "Huh, oh, nigga, heavy. Look at this nigga <laughs> heavy. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> nigga dead ass. Nigga. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> as far as the uh, as far as the actual film goes of this, like, I mean, don't, it's funny because I hated one part, but it's just like the rest of it was just kind of like whatever. Because like I know the story. I feel like I just saw the documentary. Um, mm. I, the fact that little red let her little rage lady of rage didn't have to do a, like an authentic jamaican accent she's pretty much making like she's mocking a person that had a bad accent anyway so right she's she, she, she's doing <laughs> the same job miss cleo did like i'm, I'm just turning it on so she didn't have to you know, oh my god like lady of rage mm -hmm. did a horrible job doing a jamaican accent like no she didn't <laughs> she did a perfect no, job she did exactly who, what she was supposed to she do did a perfect job of who miss cleo was and you know right I think the only part that was funny was when the dude, the first caller called, he was just like, man, my wife cheating on me. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, like, all right, come on, life. Come on, Lifetime. I hope this, this was, it was in the beginning. So I was like, I hope this isn't the movie. Like, I hope it's not a continuance. So <laughs> that was the only part that really pissed me off. A lot of parts were a little flat, but, the, you know, it, it's, it's movie, more so it pissed me off as much as I thought it was. Yeah, it, and, I, and I think I told you, it's like, I'm scared when I see a Lifetime movie, because I know how they do black movies. It's, it's real life either hit or all the way missed, and it's rarely ever a hit. I can't remember when a black Lifetime movie was a hit like that. I think people wanted the TLC story to be good so bad that they kind of forced it to be a hit, but it, it even in that, because that Aaliyah movie was fucking garbage. Horrible. I think Tamar too. Brax, I mean, uh, Tony Braxton movie was garbage. It's like they... I didn't even see that one. Man, the TLC uh, but movie it, was good because a little mama did a good job of left eye, but that was about it for me. That's it. It does, but I'm saying people wanted to like people wanted a TLC movie so bad, people wanted to like it. Yeah, so like I said, I, I I felt like they did a cool job compared to what normally I expect from ironically, they did a way better job than the other movie we about to review from last time. Huh? No, I was uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, you know what's funny is this movie was like I, I was like you know peeping it out or whatever, and it was like I didn't get upset at none of the actors. It was mm. it seemed like it was cool. It seemed like it had some some vets in there. Mm. Um, the the people that probably weren't vets didn't have enough dialogue for it to matter. Mm. Um, and the main character did a good job of portraying Miss Cleo. I thought. Um, yeah. I did, there was nothing that they showed me in this that I didn't know because I saw the documentary already. Yeah. Um, and I do think it's cool to see Rage outside of the Baby D energy. Absolutely. I think it's cool. Cool to see her just in, just a regular, like like in the play, somebody just a regular character. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know, man. I honestly don't have a lot to say about this film. Um, like, we, if you ready to rate it, we can't. <laughs> You know? Yeah, well, I'm ready to write it because, like yeah. you said, I don't. Ain't yeah. they just they 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 tackle the point? That's what they was there for. Yeah, Miss Cleo. This is literally about Miss Cleo's rise. She came up really quick, scammed, got in. They, you know, they did her wrong. She had lawsuits on her because everybody was, you know, upset that mm -hmm. whatever the case was. I think it was they kept them on the phone so long and they didn't think that the calls were going to be that expensive, and then they ended yeah. up getting charged and. 
you know, it was lawsuits on her, and then there, people were mad because they didn't think she was an actual psychic. I'm like, man, y'all need to get a life, man. Come on, get, man. The, get it the fuck together. God damn well she wasn't no psychic, man. <laughs> Go to therapy. <laughs> uh, and also, this is a, a movie about a point. It wasn't about Miss Cleo's actual background story of life. It's it's like a, the Bob Marley movie. If you're looking for Miss Cleo, how she grew up and how she became, no, nah, you're not going to get that. They're showing you what she did and, and how they used her to get millions and yeah. do all the blame on her. Basically, Absolutely. it was telling the story of that. That is it. That is it. That's all. Right. So uh, I give this movie a uh, right. 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 And right. I will give this movie a right. 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 And you nothing too much to say. If you want to check it out, that motherfucker on Lifetime. (laughs) Yeah. And it's free. Watch it on Lifetime is free with commercials. Kind of annoying with the commercials, but that's hell unless you want to pay for it. It's hella commercial. Man. And then and then it was doing the shit like if the commercial sometimes the commercial will make the app freeze. And I'm like, fuck, I gotta go out and go back in. Man, they gave me an option. They said you can either have a three minute commercial or you can have a, a 30 second commercial, but you got to interact with the ad. Oh, shit. I didn't get that option. <laughs> so I'll, <laughs> I'll interact with the ad every five minutes. I'm sitting there just like, <laughs> yeah. I did not get that. But, anyways, man, like, share, subscribe, talk to us, talk back, wherever. If you're there, let us know below how y'all felt about the movie. And if you caught that $900 uh, number and got your ass whooped, I did it. I never did it. Ain't nobody doing that <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> All right. We out. Wait. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube and Spotify and follow us on IG and TikTok.